Hi there, this is Consi from Atop Serenity Hill. And I wanted to share a project that I'm gonna do kind of in real time. Um, this is a project that I gave one of my Curiosity coaching clients uh, where she wanted to figure out how to kind of think outside the box and try something new. And I had her grab a few books. These are children's books, but she grabbed art books and then we would just open to a random page and she would pick something from each of the books and then she had to combine them together to create something. And it was just a way of, of drawing inspiration from different ideas and melding them together. So, you know, truly a mixed media project. So I wanted to work through it. I actually thought of the idea, but didn't do it with her. She was on Zoom. And so I wanted to work through it while I video it with y'all. And so a friend of mine um, lent me, I had her girls um, pick out some books for me out of their children's collection, their, their favorites, and share them with me. And I'm just gonna open the page and let's pull one aside. So this Pinkalicious, and I'm just gonna open the page, like nothing and very random. And the idea is, is that I'm going to pick something that I love from this page. And um, automatically I'm just loving these pink flowers. So I'm gonna make a note on this, whoops, pink flower. So I know what it is about each page. And it could have been the color of the green grass. It could have been like one of the words. Um, it could have been, you know, the gray pattern in the mom's hair, which is absolutely lovely. So it could be a million different things, but for one, I'm just gonna pick the pink flowers. And I'm gonna pick something from each book, Olivia. I love Olivia. All right, ooh, Olivia. <clears throat> so, um, kind of funny that they're gardening. They're all kind of gardening. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that I like the idea of the black and white from the dog, not necessarily the dog. So the black and white pattern from the dog. Okay, and I'm gonna put that aside. Another Pinkalicious and the pink drink. There's a theme. Ooh, ooh. So I'm loving this orange striped pattern. So we're gonna go with that on this one. Orange pattern. Okay, let's see what we got on this one. Peppa Pig. Ooh, there's stickers. All right, I'm liking the idea of the stars. So I'm gonna add the stars to this. As you can see, there's just so many things I could have picked, okay? Um, it could have been as fun as, you know, the smiley face, a pink smiley face, because that would be a mark. It did not have to be that it was a smile. It would just be a simple mark that you could repeat over and over again. Where's kind of where I probably will go with the stars, okay? Then we have a book called Maple. Let's see. Well, the tree. I'm loving the tree. Not this tree, this tree. So let's mark that off. Okay. And then Old Bear and his cub. Love his beard, so cute. All right, and let's see what opens to that. All right, um, I'm, the first thing that popped my eye was this bed. The, I mean, the color of his blanket, but I'm really loving this little chicken toy in the corner. So I'm gonna write chicken. All right, so I've got, I've got the idea from each book. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab um, just a pencil um, and and a Sharpie, just because it might be easier for you to see if I'm doing it with a Sharpie as opposed to a pencil. And some drawing paper, and we're just gonna sketch out how we could kind of combine these together, and then we might try and paint them, okay? So I'm gonna grab those, be right back. Okay, so I have a, just a drawing pad, nothing fancy. It's not white, it's cream, but it's what I had. 
Uh, just a pencil. Um, I have a Sharpie in case I want to show something a little stronger and then an eraser, okay? And then I've got my books handy and I'm gonna kind of spread them out around me. You won't be able to see them, but I wanna be able to pull from them as I go. what I want to see for each one. So we have that tree, we have the color, the spots for this one. Uh, where are we? This one was the flowers. And then this was that absolutely cute little ice, Suppose it's more rooster than a chicken. For those that keep chickens, I'm sure I was already corrected. <laughs> because, you know, hello. So, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with it right now. But, um, we have a tree. Okay, we've got some striped, uh, the orange stripes. And so, one of the things that I could think about is, you know, could the orange stripes be the ground? Okay, and I'm going to go fairly literal right now as far as, um, you know, what I'm thinking. So, and it's not showing up on the camera, so I'm going to switch to a Sharpie. So, I've got some stripes. And they don't have to be exactly the orange pattern. So this was my orange pattern that was in the background, okay? So I've got some stripes on the ground. And then there is um, this fabulous tree here, which I love. So I'm gonna, off to the side, I'm gonna just sketch a tree. Again, this doesn't have to be exactly what I'm, what this tree is, it doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be what I feel. We're using the concept of a tree, that it was a tree, not that it is this tree. So lots of little branches. And it's not, you know, this is this is for inspiration, so I'm not trying to make anything realistic. You could even say it's more fantasy. Okay, so I love the idea of the tree. The green might show up at some point, maybe, but what about if instead of the leaves, we took the concept of the stars and we hang stars from our branches. So then we've pulled in the stars from the Peppa Pig book here. So all the stars that were part of the stickers. Okay, and now I'm adding stars hanging from my tree. So Each one is attached maybe with a little bow. So this could even be, you know, like a party that we're setting up for a party. So we have stars hanging from the tree. This here could be more of a carpet that was laid down or a blanket. All right, so we've got some stars to give you that idea. Maybe one here. Oops. All right, keep, keep adding stars for days here. Can't seem to stop. All right, so I've got some stars. All right, so then uh, the other things that we have are, are flowers from here, from the, the Pinkalicious book. Um, which is the fairy house, okay? So I've got some flowers. And, 
perhaps we're gonna you know the idea would be like why not the flowers instead of being flowers we use the idea that they are in the background kind of like a sky or a cloud and not a sky Whew. So probably not as strong there, but if I was drawing clouds, they're kind of trailing off. And we have these pretty, the illusion, illusion of clouds in the sky. that kind of look like the flowers. And again, this might turn into nothing. You know, it probably won't be anything specific, but it gives it gives you an idea of where you can just start playing with, you know, pulling inspiration from any kind of book that you have. And it's to it's really just the thinking outside the box idea of what could it be? If you think about filmmakers, or I mean, even just books, I mean, the whole idea of, you know, Olivia the Talking Pig, but when they come up with these beautiful scenes in fantasy movies and all the different ideas that they pull together, it's from someone, you know, sitting and just using their imagination and changing one thing into something else. All right, so we got our clouds, and we might even wisp some clouds out into the, whoop, out here. I feel like I need to give the edge to the, to my rug, ground. Sketch in my tree a little more. Maybe make it a little wider on the bottom so it feels more anchored. And see, this is where I'm starting to go past the book now. Or if you think about it, pull in, you know, this wood grain is sitting right next to me, so I could also tap into that a little bit. Okay, so what haven't I used? So I've done I've got my flowers as clouds. I've got my stars from my tree. I actually have my tree, which I can pull some of that green if I want to once I, if I, um, when I add some watercolor, cause I probably will just to play with it. I've got my striping idea of my ground, which I love. Okay, so the, the two last things I haven't used are the black and white idea for from the puppy. Um, and honestly, I'm not sure how I would use that right now, but you know, it's possible that the clouds could be, I could use the pattern for the black and white in my flowers instead of the pink, which is very like pink flowers. So I could use this as the black and white inspiration. And then of course, I have my chicken rooster, rooster here, okay? So I think I'm gonna use a pencil for this just because I'm going to try and draw this rooster. And since it's the first time drawing a rooster, I have to think about it. So I also want the rooster to be the other way. I want him to be sitting under the stars. So he's got his little chicken legs sticking up. His little head and his little butt. So 
So there's sometimes I can use a Sharpie and sometimes, well, that's not gonna happen because it's the first time I'm drawing something. And on top of that, I've decided to draw him backwards. So, you know, why not make my life crazy? All right, so his little eye. And then his little waddle here. And his belly. He's got his little legs. And then he has a wing. That is a crazy rooster, but it is my version of a rooster. All right, so got his head. And his little butt. And his tail hanging down. All right, so don't you just love that I'm talking this through with you? But, okay, and then we have his little eyeball, and the waddle, and his little belly, and he has a little wing, and then he has his little feet sticking out. Again, it's not meant to be perfect. It's just meant to be fun, okay? And then anything that I need, I could just erase the pencil real quick. And so if I was doing this in all pencil, which I probably would do if I was playing around with it, it wouldn't look like the chicken was a part of the ground, like he was striped but that's okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna add some quick watercolor to this. Is this is a Sakura? Nope, not Sakura. It is Sakura. A Koi watercolor set. All right, let's see. Make sure you can still kind of see the watercolor a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna just play with the color and I'm not gonna talk, so I'll let you listen to some music instead of watching me paint and I'll come back and chat with you.
Okay, so very silly. Uh, you know, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But the idea is that we just tried something and um, even though it is a little bit on the silly side, it gives you a starting point. Like maybe you can work into a bigger painting. Maybe you got it just an idea. Maybe the whole point was just to have fun, play. And if you're looking at this as a kid, go grab your books. If you're looking at this as an adult, Go grab your kids' books. Go to the library, grab a couple books. And just try, like try any kind of thing. You know, have someone give you a word and you can Google it and uh, and see what you can come up with. And if you notice, I gave the chicken pants. <laughs> because I had the lines and they were, you know, they kind of were standing out to me. So I decided this, because I was using a Sharpie, how could I make it look like um, those lines weren't necessarily there? And one of the ways I could do that was to give him a pair of pants. And obviously the chicken rooster was not wearing pants before. Now, in my drawing, he's wearing pants. All right, so... The only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some white. I love adding white with a gel pen so I can give a highlight in his eye. I can also make the wing, put some buttons on the front of his pants, highlight in his nose, maybe put a couple highlights in the stars. Just for fun. Highlights in his tail. Maybe a few through the branches. A couple white swirls as well as the black swirls for the illusion of leaves. And I've got I've even got some smearing there. But so I have my chicken sitting under his starry tree looking at his flower clouds. And he's sitting on a rainbow mat on the ground. Voila. Don't forget to sign it. And there you have it. A different way of working with inspiration. And for this one again, I was using just children's books. I had a little watercolor a pencil, a Sharpie, a white gel pen, and I have this cute little sketch just for fun. Hopefully you'll be able to try it and learn something from it yourself. All right, thanks so much for joining me. Take care.